The Black First Land First movement has convened a community mobilization meeting in Orange Farm this morning. And BLF says the meeting is for land expropriation without compensation. And they want that done now. The organization also addressed issues such as the mining charter, free education and racism. And uh, joining me from uh, Orange Farm, of course, is my colleague who I spoke to you earlier, Muiponi Ramutole. Muiponi, please tell me that uh, the rally has indeed started and that speeches were made. What came out for you? Uh, a very good morning to you, Mr. Williams, and the viewers at home as well. Uh, we are out here in Orange Farm with the Black Fence Land First, uh, organized a mass meeting with the community of Orange Farm to discuss the issues of of land that these people have been facing. And with me here, I have the Black First Land First leader, um, Andile Mutama, to tell us more. Andile, can you please tell us more about the meeting today? Yes, uh, this meeting uh, in Orange Farm, uh, Extension 10, uh, was to provide uh, solidarity to the community, to tell the comrades that and the community that we are with them. This community has occupied land. In other words, it has followed our call for land occupation in support of President Zuma as position that land expropriation without compensation must happen. BLF says we must defend that position, we must defend President Zuma, and the best way to do so is to occupy land, and our people have done so. What is shocking and sad is to see that the DA, of course, with the assistance of EFF, which is in power here in the Joburg city, is actually threatening these people, removing these people, and um, uh, basically bringing the police and shooting uh, our communities who have uh, uh, just occupied the land that belongs to them. BLF is clear the land was stolen and the land must be returned. There's a young person who is in hospital. We know two people were killed here a few weeks ago. And uh, we came here to stand with our people and to say to them no to evictions. And uh, as BLF, uh, our slogan is land or death because we understand the struggle of land to be primary. But we want also our people to be careful. The DA is not their friend. And it's unfortunate that the DA is being given power here in the city of Joburg by the EFF. We want to make a call to the EFF to break the collision with the DA on the count that the DA continues to evict our people. Uh, the second thing that brought us here today was to invite uh, the community to a rally that is, we are organizing next week, Saturday, on the 18th in Tokoza Semuntuli Stadium, Ekuruleni. That rally is about a radical economic transformation now. BLF wants to unite all black people to come together for radical economic transformation. What is radical economic transformation? It's land expropriation without compensation. It's supporting the mining charter, which says 30% of the, of the mines must belong to people. Also under that, we support the Zamazamas who continue to mine and they must be protected. They must not be evicted. Also there is, under radical economic transformation, free education. We can see already that uh, the white-owned media, white monopoly capital and its agents are basically creating a hysteria in society against free education. They want our people to turn against free education by saying free education means that money is going to be taken away from grants. That is a lie. That is a white monopoly capital propaganda. We are very clear as BLF that President Zuma, please announce free education now for all our children. And President Zuma must reject the Free Education Commission's report that suggests that somehow we must still pay for education. Fees Must Fall has come out and said free education. President Zuma is responding to that, and that's why Saturday we're going to come out in Togoza to support and defend radical economic transformation. White people, white monopoly capital, Johan Rupert, are all opposed to radical economic transformation. If we don't dis uh, defend this program, White people are going to continue to have a monopoly in South Africa. Our people responded here positively. They said Saturday they will be in Tokoza with us. Our people have also uh, responded very positively to our call to shut down the Joburg city. We are going to say Mashaba and his council must stop all evictions. The banks must stop all evictions. If they don't do so, we're going to shut down the city. Because we know Mashaba is sent by Helen Zile. Is sent by white people to chase black people away from land, to chase black people away from the city because they want Johannesburg to be white like they have done in Cape Town. So Saturday is a big meeting for radical economic transformation.
Um, that was the Black First Land First leader, Andile Mitama, telling us more about this movement and the way forward from here and the response from the people of Orange Farm. Muiponi Ramutole, my beautiful dear colleague, talking to us from Orange Farm, where Andile Mutama has just spoken comprehensively and did not mince his words about the demands of the power of the movement and, uh, of course, uh, on behalf of those that they do represent there. Uh, well, we move on.